I am funny though, so everything's good. Hold on. On the episodes, I don't know. I might beat you. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa. Hey. I don't know about that, bro. Yes, sir. Welcome to another episode of the HBCU podcast, and we're here with our host, Machine the Dream. You already know what it is, and my co-host. Good fucking rising good people bobby k here it has been so good to come back and record again you know people miss us i'm sure and i would think we miss y'all you know what i'm saying we're gonna get y'all more content real soon don't worry about that but as you see we do not have our usual third party with us we actually have his brother yes introduce yourself to the people young sir What's up, everybody? My name is Nigel X, aka Cody Black Sheep, aka One Eight Hundred Sugar Baby. No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. Uh, it was nice to be here. Yes, I, as you can see, um, my brother. Nah, yeah. Nice to yeah. have you. Man. I was, I was like contemplating to do that. Just like be that one type of guy. Of course, hey, you got to have the AKAs. Just, just Listen, listen everybody come. Everybody comes on the show and start having an alter ego with us. I don't know what it is. I guess we make people comfortable. But yeah. uh, thank you for being on the show. Um, thank you for before me. we get into the, uh, this is our first interview that Hashim and I are doing. We're trying okay. something new, something fresh. Uh, if you guys like it, um, leave a comment, leave a like, uh, subscribe, and let us know. And mm-hmm. we can be- make this become a series, you know? But yeah. before we get into that, uh, I just have a quick HBCU fun fact for this episode. It's on Morgan State University. Um, so uh, initially they were supposed to be like a ministry, similar to a lot of how the origins are for most HBCUs. They start off as ministries and churches back in 1867. Um, and the initial mission of it was supposed to be just for men, but then in 1875 they ended up admitting women as well with men uh for their training so uh shout out to morgan state and shout out to black history you know it was just juneteenth uh as we were recording this so happy juneteenth to all my black brothers and sisters yes how'd you guys celebrate juneteenth work good question Wait, what you said work? I work. Uh, I feel you. Yeah. The irony that my guy Hashim had to work on the day that is supposed to celebrate us being freed from <laughs> slave labor. <laughs> Crazy. As he's wearing the afro. So uh, first question. So as an art, what, what would you categorize the genre or the type of music that you make as an artist? Uh, basically hip hop, you know, but I just like to try to experiment with different like styles. Like, you know, you got your boom bap, you got your trap, you got your chill type of stuff, you know, basically that, but hip hop without a question. Okay. Uh, what do you think like is influenced you to get into that, like the variety of styles that you're into? Um, you know, growing up, I listened to a lot of different type of stuff. I listened to like, obviously some nineties, some like trendy type of stuff, all of the stuff, which I, um, love. And I just wanted to be the type of artist who doesn't like, you know, stick to one style, even though there are benefits of doing that. It can be um, a bit boring at times. Like for instance, okay, basically one of my biggest influence for trying different stuff is mainly Kanye West. Cause look at the man, you know, he has different types of style. If you honestly think about it, every album he dropped was something completely different. College dropout, it was, um, you know, Chipmunk Soul late registration, he started to like, you know, dive into some more like orchestra type of stuff. Graduation, he completely flipped it and started doing like techno, um, more poppy stuff. 808s, and the list goes on. Like you can see this like, distinct different with each album. And I just wanted to be able to do something like that to, to that degree. Okay. Uh, that's, that's, that's an interesting reference point. I think for a lot of younger artists, Someone like him, someone like uh, Pharrell and the Neptunes, mm-hmm. um, uh, you know, those type of guys are like very influential, not just like, um, like mainly sonically, like how 
um, futuristic in like spacey certain um, beats sound pr- production wise. Even someone like T Pain with Auto Tune mm-hmm. and how it mm-hmm. became so influential, and so many artists using Auto Tune in the past yeah. decade plus. You know. So, I feel like T-Pain doesn't get like the, the respect that he deserves or whatever. Because, like, if you think about it, he really, now I'm not going to say start the shit, but he really popular. Uh, yeah, he yeah. really popular. You know? And he, he yeah. can sing too. Ex- can exactly. Sing. Like real without, life. Yeah. Without it. Yeah. yeah. I remember the first time I saw a clip without our tune, and it's like, why does he use it? But then I realized, okay, I get it because yeah. it's more catchy and it's whatnot. Because I'm yeah. like, holy mm-hmm. shit. I think it's funny. Maybe he's not a, a good of a singer without it. I was really wrong. Right. Uh, dang. What was I gonna say? Uh, uh, I had something. Uh, oh yeah. So like, I feel like Pharrell and Kanye are they're not afraid to get out their comfort zone. So they be trying new stuff, be innovative, yes. pioneer. You yes. feel me? Um, is that why you have so many different like not genres but like different styles that you're of course into? Of course, without question, you know. And it's funny because right before we started this interview, we was actually talking about Pusha T's new album because, like, you know, it's only production basically done by Kanye and Pharrell. So, like, yeah, when I was listening to the album and there are different types of beats, I'm like, this is a reminder of why I want to try different stuff and different flows and different tempos and stuff like that. You know, to get uh, make the people keep uh, guessing and stuff like that. True. That's a good. That's a good point. I always think about it too, for especially because you're a younger artist. You know, mm-hmm. being in like your um, your mid twenties, trying to find the style that works for you. Because mm-hmm. I think it could become very easy to be so influenced by the people that you like admire and that you mm-hmm. listen to frequently, that you mm-hmm. start to make music, um, or write music like very similar to them. How do you balance between being like influenced but also having originality at the same time? Well, that's a good question. That's actually a hard question. Um, for starters, I think the originality comes from your story personally. I think that's mm-hmm. one of the main things to begin with, your story. Obviously, you're gonna hear obviously when you're starting out, you're gonna hear influences from whoever and whatnot. Cause I'm not trying to sound conceited, but I had one or two people, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, say that I remind them of um, Kanye, and someone said I remind them of Kendrick at um, one point. So I think when you start out, I think the goal is to um, obviously, because we all, I mean, not every artist has an influence, but a majority does. And it's, I, I think with. every artist has an influence personally. I've heard artists to say like they're not in, directly influenced by one person or another, but they could be lying or something like that. But like, yeah, I think that's what it is. Um, the balance is basically having your own story, but I guess being influenced by um, the other artists. That's a really hard question. Oh my God. I didn't, oh, uh, damn. That's <laughs> a hard one. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that the, I was like, holy shit. Wait, Hashim, do you disagree with what I said? Yeah, I'll get to that. But um, what, what, how, how does, I feel like no matter what you do, you're going to sound like there, somebody's always going to compare you to somebody else. Like, Right. There's some different sounds right now. They're gonna be like, even if you, if it's your own sound, they'll find somebody. They'll be like, oh yeah, you kind of sound like so and so. You feel me? Yeah, I feel like that's always gonna happen. But the more you do it, and the more like original you become, I feel like it's gonna become less and less. Because imagine someone like Kanye. I feel like when he first started out, he sounded like somebody else that um, another artist he was influenced by. But as of today, you can't say like Kanye West reminds you of this person or that person. Yeah. Or maybe someone like Kendrick reminds you of this person or that person. When they start out, that's one thing. But as they master the form, I think that starts to somewhat go away. Unless if you're someone who like... Yeah, yeah, they, yeah exactly. No, but, that, that, but I think you guys proved what I, my point was, which is like having influences in sounding similar to someone isn't necessarily a bad thing as long as you make it your own of course but even people that you we named that have made their own distinct wave and sound mm-hmm. it came from somewhere you of know course. what i'm saying especially like music and especially like hip-hop and soul and 
jazz and R&B, like these are genres mm-hmm. that's been around for decades, decades. So you're naturally going to be uh, taking pieces of different things mm-hmm. from from others. And making your but own. The, right, exactly. So yeah, I think every artist has influences, but you might not see them as much for the better artists because mm-hmm. the better artists know how to make it into their own shit, which right. as you said, that's what you try to do in your own right. right. So exactly. which I respect a lot. Mm-hmm. Um you actually have a song that's that you put out recently. Yeah. Um what what was the name of it again? It's called Don't Bother Me. Okay. Yeah I, I listened to it. Great dope song by the way. I'm not appreciate just saying it. that. Um, I appreciate it. his flow your flow on there is is great. Um, you know, me- you did some melody. Yeah, it was very chill, calm song, but it also mm-hmm. had like a strong tone to it. What like made you want to make that type of song? And what if you wanted to give people a back a quick backdrop of what the song's about? So basically, the song is about. Um, it's one of those type of songs. You, I feel like it's one of those songs you definitely heard before. Where like when you're doing your own thing, people want to be around you, but when you ask them to hang out and stuff like that, they're just like. I can't, I'm too busy. But now that I'm doing my own thing, you know, you want to come around and stuff like that. So like, when I'm doing my own thing, like, don't bother me, basically. Mm. Uh, I made it over a year ago. Um, It's crazy because like, I'm not used to doing melodies and stuff like that in that song. And it's just like, it's like, it feels like a bar for some reason. Because like, I don't know if I could do that again if I wanted to, because obviously I basically just like rap, like hardcore rap and stuff like that. So this was a bit different for me. Do you, do you see yourself using, like, doing your own melodies in the future, too? Like, I would, Yeah, I would like to do that at some point. I just got to get better at doing it because, like, I remember when I was trying to record another song, like, doing melodies, and it worked out so well. So I just got to figure out. Like, you know what I think it was? When I was recording that other song, I wasn't thinking too much about it. I wasn't, like, really thinking. It's like when you, when you, think, when you think too much while you're recording, that can really mess you up. But when you're just doing it and you're not even thinking, I feel like you can come out too quick. No. Mm. I feel like that's the same for like anything, for like, even like sports. It's just yeah, natural. Think, you feel me? It's like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's natural. Not, that's what not, I'm looking for. Yeah, you're not thinking, you just let it yeah, be free, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just reactions type, type B. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It, that's a good point because like uh, Hashim and I especially like we've talked about it numerous episodes we both you know were athletes um still kind of are athletes um you know we was on a chat team together uh he did soccer as well I did basketball nice. and you know the best well track aside but like the, the other sports the best version of yourself is when you're not thinking because once you start thinking you're more prone to injury you're more prone yeah. to make mistakes you're just you're just oh i should make this move or i should think of this play mm-hmm. instead of mm-hmm. just going and just weeding off of other people and i think mm-hmm. with music as an artist like you said recording i could see how that has like the same dynamic you know you just want to be able to let your mind flow mm-hmm. and your creative spirit go as it takes you instead of just right. trying to force something so as an artist like obviously the, we've seen a plethora of got people you know You've mentioned Kanye, also J. Cole, Big and, Crit. Uh, mm-hmm. You already know Cold World. You already know how to <sighs> on it. Oh, but, word. you know, there's a plenty of artists who are, are um, artists, but they are also producers. Yep. Um, is that something that you see yourself as doing one day, is becoming a producer, making your own, like, instrumentals, as well as writing? Um, I had some experience with producing, but in the future, um, yeah, I can see it, because I have some ideas and stuff like that. So... Near, near future, I definitely want to get back into it and stuff like that. Yeah, because one thing I definitely want to learn how to do, because I feel like I have some knowledge on how to do it, but I haven't done it in so long. It's like chopping up samples and, you know, doing that stuff. Mm-hmm. That's the first thing I definitely want to start out with. Um, you know, making samples. Uh, yeah, definitely. That's one thing. You know, like, is- you know how they do it with, like, the NPCs and stuff like that. I definitely want to learn how to do that. It's an art form. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's dumb difficult, too. Oh, D. <laughs> no, it is. It you gotta, is. Like, yeah, I it feel is. like it is. You, gotta, you know what it is? You got to listen to the song and then find, like, what, oh. you find, you know, um, a loop or whatever, or whatever sounds good, and you just make it 
revolving around that, and that can be a bit difficult. When I'm and especially it to match up with the tempo and stuff. And especially if you're putting it on like a on a recorded album, like you know, a lot of artists who are like independent and or even not independent, but they're like signed to a, like a label or whatever, mm-hmm. they got to get it clear. That's and that's a whole mm-hmm. clusterfuck. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I've been wondering how. I'm like, I'd be curious on how that process actually works and whatnot. So, mm. so I think another thing I want to look into. For sure. So, I always wonder this, and I just never know. And I feel like it's different for each like rapper or each person. So right. like, for like, especially for those people that produce their beats and rap over them. So mm-hmm. do you think of like the lyrics first, and then? Mm, good question. Go with the lyrics, or you get the beat, and then you're like, "I, right, I can spit to this." I feel like right. that's what you see most in like um, social media or like old stories, or where you hear rappers like, "Oh yeah, like Tim Lynn showing Jay Z some." Yeah, uh, you know, I get what you're saying. You know? I think it. I think it depends on the person. With me specifically, I, I think I have to hear the instrument right right to it. But there have been several times it can be very stressful where I think of the story first. And then I have to find out which beat fits best with this and whatnot, which is a, which is kind of a pain in the ass. So I think like me hearing the beat first and working around that will probably be the best is right now for me. But everyone's different, you know. Right. Everyone is different. Yeah, I feel like, like I feel like doing the doing the lyrics first. It just limits the amount or the yeah. beats mm-hmm. could go with it. Mm-hmm. Like it has to match your flow. It has to match, and even like people have samples, right? Mm-hmm. that their original samples don't sound anything like the actual song that came out. That's amazing. Uh, compared to the beats, you know? So it might be a different voice, um, changing up words or how they... Um, yeah, either like they, sped up the, they sped up the words or slow it yeah. down or something like that, yeah. Delivery how, cadence. Yeah, how the delivery. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. a good question, Ashim, because I always thought about that too. Like, how do, how do you determine, like, okay, like, the approach on, t- on a beat? You know what I mean? Whether it's slower mm-hmm. tempo, a trap beat influence, you know, if you have a feature on there. Oh, I've that's actually, I'm glad feature. I actually said that. So I've seen also you've had songs where you've been a feature and you've worked with different artists. Yeah. When you're working with other artists, are you just mainly focused on getting your shit right and just focus on your own shit? Or do you have like an underlying, like, nah, I'm about to go crazy <laughs> so well, that I, have the best, OG, I think I have I think the best verse I try, on this song. Like we you know what? Know. I think I try my best to have that mentality always, depending on whatever I'm recording or however, however, however it sounds. Mm-hmm. But um, it depends on like what type of beat it is. If it's like a like a, like a like a love song, then I feel like I'm adding stuff. If it's like a um like a lyrical type of song, I'm like, oh, I gotta do my best or whatever, and like you know, put my best foot forward on this one, and not like sound like a black or stuff like that. Like, yeah, mm. I feel like there's a little bit of competition in me in that regard, but yeah, it depends. Honestly, but you, I, like you know what I think it is. I th- you know what I think it is. I think yeah, I think I have that mentality always. Like, well, I'm mm. trying to murder this because I want to play ass and whatever, and then people would be like, "Oh, he sounds like ass in the song." I was like, "Nah," so I gotta do my best. Yeah, that's what I wanted to hear. That's yeah. what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I like because I have a song with this artist. Uh, his name is uh, Rich Alexander. Shout out to him. Got a song called uh, Thirty Secrets. And I remember I met up with great him a couple song. time. What's up? No, nah, I said it was a great song. I, I listened oh, to appreciate it, it. Thank several you. times. Yeah. Yeah. So we met up a couple of times, and he would always tell me how like, yo, they're fucking with your verse. My friends are like really fucking with your verse. I'm like, thank you. That means a lot. I want to always have that whenever whenever I'm recording with whoever. Mm. Do you prefer barring up or being on a, like a love ballad? Like what? Or it doesn't as matter. As far as making my own songs or? Um, uh, just, or... yeah, just like in terms of like your own music or even being a feature. Like, do you prefer uh... just going like going in and just barring up or like being a little bit more eloquent and trying to, you know, be more melody driven? What I prefer. Um, I feel like maybe bar. Damn, it depends on what's easier the thing because both is not easy to do in a sense because barring up you know what i think maybe no i'm gonna go with barring up because the reason why because with love songs and and stuff like that it feels like i'm repeat i'll be repeating the same twice or whatever we gotta come from Mm -hmm. and sometimes i feel like oh wait i said something like this 
as far as but as far as borrowing up, depending on what type of song it is, I can just like you know really um like be creative and be imaginative. Love songs you can only do so much, or not. But borrowing up it leaves you more to imagine. Um, yeah, just be more creative thinking. Yeah, I feel like I feel like love songs you gotta you gotta meet that mood. You exactly. know mm -hmm. that vibe. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a theme for the. It's it's about love or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Exactly. Like I'm working on a song right now. I'm actually having someone featured on it. And um it's just hard, right? It's a, it's, it's a love song that we're working on. It's hard because I feel like some of the stuff I said before, and I try not, I try my best not to be like uh, repetitive in terms of my songs because it kind of gets stale after a while. So mm. okay. Got it, got it, got it. So I have a question. Um like before we do rapid fire questions mm -hmm. to end this episode will you be able to give us a quick freestyle i have feeling he's going to ask me that um I yes or no i just want to i just want to know yes or no if you can then we'll save it for last you know what fuck it i'll give it a shot and if his ass just edit it out <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's I feel like I, Hashim, you could you can maybe attest to this yourself. I feel like freestyling has not become a lost art, but it's something that's become very like underappreciated because mm -hmm. I really appre I really fuck with seeing some of my favorite MCs, mm -hmm. no matter mainstream, independent level, whatever. You know, a lot of freestyles now aren't like off the top. But yeah, that's what I'm saying because like, like there's different types of freestyles. There's all kinds right. of off the top, and there's also like you know. Uh, something you got written down, but it's just like uh, uh, what's the one I'm looking for? But it's not really like, damn. I just want to turn thought on this one. Yeah, it's, it's, like, just, it's, it's like written, right, right. I, I feel yeah, like I know off the mean. top, and then it's just like a, a pre-written, or it's like random, whatever. Right. Yeah. Are we getting? Are we getting the 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 bars right nah, now? No, no. We gotta we gotta do we're gonna do rapid fire. We're gonna give him a chance to let it marinate. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you know can't be thinking, thinking when you start thinking. Got, that's got, right, right. right. Or whatever I was working on or some shit like that, so I could spit or something like that. He gonna start looking around the room, talking, thinking, bro. Oh, okay. let me do off the top, cause like, nah, you could, you could listen. Okay, they right. do they want, listen, 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 listen. Let me, let me tell you a secret, all right? Mm -hmm. The people, the people mm -hmm. won't know that it's written or not. So just mm -hmm. act. It's off the top, okay? They didn't hear that. <laughs> All right, I got you. Yeah, yeah. So he's gonna give us an off the top freestyle to end the show. You know what I'm saying? But before we do that, you know what I'm saying? Ashim and I, we just gonna give him like just quick rapid fire questions. You know what I'm saying? Just you know, just a little quick, some you know, not too much harp on. Um, so top three favorite hip hop artists right now. Fuck. Damn. Wait, right now, right now, <laughs> ah, damn it. Not, okay. Rapid fire, let's go. Oh, oh my god, okay. Um, as of right now, who I really like, push your tea. Um, push. We're, we're talking about right now, like now of all time, like right? current, yeah, like current, okay, current okay, artists. good, right now, um, right now, push your tea without doubt, because that album was super fucking great. Obviously, I'm just gonna go with Kendrick, um, and um, uh, Drake, no, I'm kidding, Kanye. <laughs> Oh, hey. You don't know. You don't want to say that. You don't want to say that. Why he drink like that? Huh? Why he pump big drink? No, I was no, I was joking. No, Drake is a dope ass artist. No, because of all the shit that's going on with his recent album that just came out, and whatnot. I like. Hi. Recent. It's not bad. You like it? You know. Gas or trash? Hmm, that's tough. Gas or wait, what was it? Yeah, is it gas? Like, is it good or is it trash? Can it be in the middle? Because it wasn't like... No, 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 no. We don't do... You don't do... You don't do... You don't do... You gas because I have... This is one song on there that I've been listening to a lot ever since it came out. So, and it's Overdrive. Mm. Uh, I only like two yeah. songs on it. I thought it was... It's not it as was best work. It's probably... His, maybe it's, you know what? It's probably his worst work. Is this oh, yeah, work? for sure. No, I'm like, not even no, trying to, I think like, not even trying like, to bash him, because Drake is a great artist. Let's keep it on it. He's a yes, great artist. Yes. He's inconsistent was, as hell, though. 
if we're being completely honest. As far as wait, wait, as far, wait, on, as, far right. as um dropping stuff or as far as lyrical uh content. Like I feel like someone like Drake has become so big that he is focusing mainly on just making hits and just throwing shit at a wall and seeing what sticks yeah. instead of bars, by the way. But um, I feel like because when you reach a certain uh, height, it's yeah. like, what else is there? For what not? That's the thing. And maybe he's probably like having a hard time, like, you know, bringing out the um, bringing out the bars and stuff like that and whatnot. That's why I feel I, like he needs to take a break. I think any major artist no. should take a, a, at least two years off. I think he just has he's he's every album he's put out recently is just different um style of music. Mm-hmm. So that's that's what he's doing. That's his yeah. goal. I still don't don't mean I'm gonna like it. Of course. More life. No, I think this is the worst album. More life right there too. Yeah. But uh yeah. Fate, prime favorite favorite musical trend, Nigel. So you just skipping my question, huh? <laughs> Oh, like, that wasn't a question. You said, though. You, said, you, said, you, said, you said rapid fire, right? <laughs> All right, wait, wait. Let's, before I answer, what do you mean musical trends? Like, as far as... You mm-hmm. said a statement, though. You didn't ask a question, Hashim. I didn't get to ask a question. You my asked fault. the first question. Oh, you're right. Go ahead. No, you, I, you, can, you, can, you can answer this question, though. Go ahead. All right, wait, wait. Before I answer, like, when you say trend, like, be uh, elaborate real quick. You mean, give me, like, a uh, example. Uh, like, you're talking about, like, boom, bad. What are we talking about? Like, what are we talking about? Just favorite uh, musical trend that you see that's like a that's growing in popularity. Maybe it's UK. Maybe it's New York drill. Maybe uh, it's you know crazy. house music because everyone's doing like everyone wants to do house music now. Yeah, I, like, I mean, I like house music. Um, I don't mind house music depending on who it is. But damn it, oh, this is tough. I, you know, fuck, I'm fucking mystic wild with house music. House. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because like I had to actually think about that one. You say rapid fire, so I'm like, all right, fuck, I'm gonna go house. Okay, drill's cool. It depends on who's doing it, and if it's not like you know, trying to sound like pop smoke, and I think it's cool. <sighs> Body. No, um, what... come on, like everyone's trying to sound like pop smoke now. Like you can do every... drill, but have your own style to it. Nah, it's every every first of all, I hate drill. That's that's. <laughs> Hate drill. I didn't like like drill in a in a previous episode. (laughs) I said I like drill. Me, I could have sworn you said that. That's cap. That's cap. Because I don't even listen to pop smoke. Hey, rewind the footage. Rewind the footage of the previous episode when we did evolution and hip hop. Go watch that. I could have sworn you said you like drill. Did you not say that? I don't like drill. Uh, Is there a reason? I don't don't listen to pop smoke. I just I just don't like it. It's just no. I I didn't even like like even Chicago drill. I don't like drill. No matter what like type period. of drill it is, I don't like drill. He like said you don't give a degree. damn about the geographic. <laughs> you don't it like is. drill. No, you just no. You could be on some rapid shit over drill, but people just don't do it or whatever. The only thing I like about drill is probably the dances that go with it. And that's oh my god! Oh, no, getting sturdy and whatnot. Yeah. Nice. Do you know how to get sturdy? My knees don't work like that. Oh no. Nah. You gotta just stretch, just stretch, bro. Just stretch, bro. Just stretch. No, I'm saying, like I'm, I'm pushing, like I'm pushing, like it's pushing P. I'm pushing thirty, like. The fuck? Oh, nah. Wow, <laughs> wow. That might have to be in the. That might have to be in the thumbnail. I don't know. Hashim, you had a question, bro. That's my, uh, that's my shit. What, <laughs> what what song is stuck in your head right now? If you have any. Damn it. Okay, can I, I have a list? It's not just one. It's like I give you like two, three. Oh, I'll give you two. All right, what the first song? one I said already, Overdrive by Drake. And then okay. the second one is Let the Smoker Shine the Cool by Pusha T. Okay. That beat is fucking like Pharrell did his thing on that beat. It's so hard. And I found out that um he's on tour right now. And I found out that's the first song he performs. And like I was like, damn it. I want to hear that <laughs> live. Like, bro. Mm-hmm. I know. I fucked you up. Hate to see it. I, I hate know. To see I'm it. having, bro, I'm having constant withdrawal and I'm trying to do my best, but it's like, it's, it's, it's getting to me now. It's really getting to me. Shut up. No, you be going out. Yeah, it's about to be outside, bro. So. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. This ain't about me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This ain't about me. This is about right, all right, all right. Right. Do you be out, Do you be outside like Bobby? Wait, wait, wait. wait. It's rapid fire. 
Um, not as much as Bobby. The only place that I be is fucking restaurants on the weekend and whatnot. That's pretty much. Hold it. on, hold on, hold on. See, we're not going to do Next this. Question. Ha, Hashim, Next question. Hashim, this is rapid fire. Didn't you just go on Bobby. a vacation? Huh? Really? Didn't you just go on a vacation? Yeah, that's not outside. What? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. To oh where? My. How was a vacation Cali- not outside? To How? California. California? Yeah. He was on a whole vacation. Yeah. Bobby, you be outside. You went to like two concerts. You was outside this weekend to went God to two knows concerts. where. You went to five festivals. <laughs> Listen, man. Listen. It's summertime, okay? Nah, I'm dude, that's to... what you got to say, city boy. Nah, I didn't say city <laughs> boy. Uh, he's what a city boy, say. but don't look for the city girls. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Mm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Next, next question. Leave next that question. in Wale. No. <laughs> next question. What is wrong with me? Jesus mm. Christ. Most overrated hip hop artist right now. Go. Fuck. Over. How should you go first? <sighs> you go first. I... What's, what's his name? Not not Gunna. What's the what's the ugly uh, little, little baby? Nah, little, ba- little baby's all right. I think Gunna pushing people is garbage, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the term. The song is. <laughs> What's yours, Nigel? Uh, Bless you. See what happens when you disrespect the P? Anyway. I'm going to stick with... I love Drake, but I'm going to stick with him on this one. Like, You said Drake overhyped? Yeah. What? That's what you said? Or... Yeah. I can't... Ooh. You know what it is? Here's why. Here's why. I, I, never, I never saw an artist as overrated. I never, like, thought in that mindset. But if I had to pick one who can be in that category, despite the fact he's really good, uh, actually, no, not Drake, because I, I have most of his shit anyway. No, stick to Drake. People, people be on Drake's dick, bro. Not I'm not even on this. Like, the thing, I'm not honestly. I don't hate this album. Like, I'm not ever right. with the fucking man. If Drake ever puts out a bad song, people will always say, "Yo, that was, that was Drake. Heat. That was gas. That was, it's that was Drake. fire." It's even Drake. Though, I like Drake. I like Drake though. I like Drake. I, Drake. I, like Drake. I, have, I have the majority of his stuff right now. But you're not I all of his stuff though. in my um. On my playlist or whatever. So, but I mean, I guess because I'm looking, because I guess because he's a big artist and whatnot. And usually the big artists are ones who be most overrated. So, like, like I was saying before, I never like thought of a rapper as overrated. I'm like, oh, he's overrated or whatever. And I really never thought of it that way. So, I had to pick one. I have to go with Drake on this one. That's fine. Yeah. Bobby? Those are two great answers. <laughs> Oh, Those don't, say, great don't say some nonsense, bro. You about to say but something like know. Doja Cat, bro. No, 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 no. She's no, enough. come on, she's really good. I'm saying yes. her enough. Really good. I, I ain't okay, saying not, all that. Uh, well, I, I, she's talented. She's not talented. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a whole different answer. I'm not even gonna say overrated because I think people know he's he's mid, but overplayed definitely Jack Harlow. Oh, uh, first class that, is the uh, worst song every, I've heard in the past five years. That's what well, first class. Ass. First of all, Bobby, that's that's like cat, but, um, what? I like I say, the worst song everything I love and adore. That is the worst song I've heard in the past five years. First class. So little it's pump did come out with some garbage. Little um, Takashi Six Nine did come out with some garbage. But uh, see, this is the difference is they wasn't played. Every thirty minutes, bro. I gotta well, hear that I mean, shit in the car at one. work. I gotta hear that shit in my nightmares. I'm yes. sick of that song. But you know, right, every- so I know what song we're playing for Bobby's birthday. I, I. But look, say, but Bobby, look, so here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take Bobby to the club, and when he's not looking, because he's probably just gonna forget. We're gonna, we're gonna take him to the club, and we're gonna do bottle service and all that shit. And we're gonna have to, you know, the women come out. With the um bottles and like sparkling the shit, and yeah. yeah, yeah. When it comes out, we're gonna play first class. <laughs> and what not? gonna be yeah. hot. And see if I don't walk the fuck out on my own birthday <laughs> celebration. <laughs> I'm dipping. Doubt it. Oh no! On your birthday? Yeah. We did. We here for but, you. We gonna walk out? But the thing is, people roast them for it. So I, it's not even like a lot of people were like, "Oh, this is gonna be hot." They said it's hot. When they heard the sample, that shit okay. is hot garbage. When they heard the song, they was like, "Yeah, this this kind of." Lyrically, it wasn't that great, but it was like it's still it's still a fun track and whatever. It's fun. It's boring as hell. The sample is they use is weak as fuck. The way they used it, 
the 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 hook is boring. His bars are ass. The, <laughs> the, the song is dry. It needs lotion because it's ashy as fuck. No. I've never what? heard a person say that before. Damn, no. Damn. It's mid. I've never heard someone it's say trash. that. It needs lotion because it's ashy as how's that music? song is how ashy. Is that ashy? God it damn. needs calamine. It's ashy. That's all it's ashy. Damn. Damn. No, boy, damn. What Jack Hall do to you? Exactly. Bro, he gets he away with putting out his bull. Two. Hours later. He's not he's not good. It's okay. It's not because he's white. Okay. We love Mac Miller. Okay. He's ass. It's okay. Just say he's ass. Just say his music is boring. It's unoriginal. That's all I do like that song off his album, A Little Secret. Even though it's short, I do like the flow oh, and whatnot. I don't know if you listen to the album. You he, has, like he has some good songs. I didn't listen to the album. I listened to the album. It was it wasn't his greatest work. I will say that. It wasn't his greatest. I think his greatest work to me. It's probably uh, his mixtape that came out in 2019, I think. It was called Confetti. That's a good, that's a good mixtape. Like the song, the Heavy Hitter, does have my top five. I, call it, um, I do, I do agree that it definitely was not his greatest work, but you know who does have great work though? Kendrick. Yeah. Nigel X. It's time for the freestyle. We nah. capping off the show. <laughs> we capping off our first edition of interviews. Of uh, we're making this a series. We need a freestyle. Let's All go. Right. Give me, give us, give us the 16, a quick eight, however you want to do it. To the producers that looks, for people getting money on enough for the books. Keep doing your damn thing, live life that's insane. Right in the fast pumping, bust out the champagne. Strange, this time in our lives, but through the storm, I swore that I would thrive. Ironically in life, all of us gotta go up, cause that's the only way we ever gonna feel alive. Put to throw shade when the light on you. Mind in my own damn business, but right on cue. Nosy motherfuckers asking me what I'm gonna do. Live it up on Fifth Ave with my light up shoes. Um, rest in peace to Mac Miller and all the other ghosts. So fuck with whack niggas. Now we on the boat, let's toast and stack figures. Blowing out the smoke, toast and mad liquor. Now my head spinning like a disco ball. I ain't really winning if I haven't pissed you off. Your main dick is sinning and she missed your call. If that pussy smell like fish, then my dick go soft. Oh, uh, they say the toughest soldiers get the Mission, the game getting colder. On what the fuck is missing? I step up from the party. Like, what the fuck he sniffing? Nick was merely rocking. I did the funky chicken. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> I fucked with it. I it. Can we get some exposure here, Wale? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Griselda. That was definitely a great closer, a great freestyle. Thank you so much, Nigel. I appreciate you. Uh, for doing that. Um. Yeah, Hashim, do you want to want to close this out? Close it out. I thank you to our special guests for coming on the show, Nigel X. Go listen to his music. Do you have an Instagram that you want to put up? Yeah. Um. Uh, I have. Um. Damn. I have uh two actually. First one is Nigel X five one sixteen, and then the other one is going to be. Hold on. Let me look it up. I kind of forgot off the top. Of he got a burner account, y'all. That's why he. Got ah. mm. <laughs> no, funny story is, I you know was going through some shit at one point, and I decided to like um, deactivate. delete it. Not delete it. Like um, deactivate. It? Yeah, deactivate. deactivate. But when I tried to activate it again, it wasn't working. So I decided to make a new one. And then one day I was trying to log in, and then it accidentally logged me back into the other one that I thought I had I had deleted. So. The other one is uh, I am underscore Nigel X. So it's I A. I don't. You want to we wrap it up one more time? Uh, but thank you for coming on the show. Go yes. follow his Instagrams, yes, both sir. of them. Um, thank you for everybody that's watching. Uh, we're back at it again. Yes. Um, happy Juneteenth. Happy belated Juneteenth. Mm -hmm. um, hope you guys enjoy the summer weather. It's getting hot out there. Mm -hmm. Don't be no... Just be safe. Yes. Anyway, Bobby, any last words? Uh, if you're listening to us on any other uh, listening platforms, make sure you leave a rating. Subscribe there. If you're watching us and you see our lovely faces, leave a like, comment. If you want us to continue this series we can uh and subscribe you know run the subscriptions up we greatly appreciate it rolling out content and follow us on instagram and tiktok the hbcu podcast and 
thank you again to Nigel X for being the first guest of this series on the show with us. I'm honored. Uh, thank you so much. Not a problem, man. Dope freestyle. Y'all be easy and be safe, and we will see you again soon. Thank you.